Directly above the command line in the search window, you'll see some search window tabs, numbered 1 through 12, that can function as additional workspaces or bookmarks to allow you to study different topics or verses in BibleWorks. These tabs are used to store your current context. It is like having a number of BibleWorks desktops available to you. You can use them to save work and return to it later. Also, these individual tab contexts are saved between sessions of BibleWorks. So let's say that you're studying the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5.33, and we find Jesus quoting the Old Testament. If I hold my mouse cursor in the NAS, I see in the version notes for the NAS reference to several Old Testament passages that presumably refer to oaths or vows. I'd like to explore those passages, but I want to be able to quickly come back to Matthew 5.33 to continue my study. So I can use one of the tabs here above the command line to pursue that secondary study. Any tab that does not have an asterisk in it is a free tab. So I can click on any one here to duplicate my current tab. When I clicked on it, it told me that it's an empty tab. But notice that now I have an asterisk indicating that it has been used. If you right click on the tab, you can even title the tab using set tab title. Just for example, I'll title this tab OT Verses. And it now retains the title that I gave it. So I wanted to explore the verses that Jesus quotes from or refers to here in Matthew 5.33. So I can look up Leviticus 19.12. I've typed LEV space 19 space 12 and hit enter. And I can study this passage. But if I wish to go back to my study of Matthew 5.33 at any time, I'll just click Tab 1. So these tabs are useful as additional workspaces or bookmarks. You can click on another tab and study different topics outside the original verses that you were studying. but then return to your original tab to study your original passage. Each time you access one of the search window tabs, it saves a copy of your current display versions, the current search version, whether you have browse mode set to single or multiple version mode, the current verse in the browse window, the format of the search window, the current search statistics, and hit highlighting information, any options you may have chosen for the command line, the cross version search option that you have set, and also the search limit options that you have set. Also notice in the area of the tabs, the history button. The same information that is stored in the tabs is also stored in a separate history database. This permits you to return to a previous state it moves you back to previous verses that you may have viewed in the browse window.